Welcome to Moni Musings on the Indian Hour. Hey folks, this is Moni Deepa back again with Moni Musings. Uh, today I want to start with a question for all of you. Uh, do you think that we are more engaged in the virtual world that our smartphones open up for us rather than the real world that we live in? I think our smartphones are winning hands down. Just look around. Whether it's a restaurant or lunch break at office or inside a cab or even when you're sitting with the family at the dining table. Uh, we are constantly checking our mobile phones whether for WhatsApp messages or for our Facebook updates, checking our Instagram accounts or we're checking our Twitter accounts or our Snapchat accounts if we are slightly younger or the innumerable apps that we keep on downloading whether you know they're dating apps or gaming apps or shopping apps or something else uh, some other app that has got our fancy uh, but the point is that uh, we're always so preoccupied with our virtual world these days and whatever is happening there that we are getting more and more detached from the real world around us our real families sitting beside us our real friend, friends who are hanging out with us uh, we are uh, just disconnected from them. Um, I was wondering why are we so obsessed with this virtual world? Well, uh, there are two reasons that I can think of. Reason number one is that our fascination with technology is at its peak. And this bewildering choice of content for our consumption uh, that the smartphone brings to our fingertips is something that we just can't get over with. We need not go anywhere but we just click our phones and we can watch any kind of content whether it's uh, some interesting news, sports, adventures, sitcoms, whether we want to do celebrity spotting, watch a music video, anything. And at hardly any cost. I mean, we don't really need to buy tickets uh, to go for the concert or um, wait through traffic to, uh, you know, go and watch a film. So without spending extra t uh, time on travel or extra uh, money, a lot more money, we are getting to watch uh, a very exciting, very colorful, very shiny world. Uh, without uh, moving from our sofas. Now, the second reason I feel, along with this fascination for technology, is this psychological problem that seems to be afflicting all of us these days. Uh, the problem that's known as FOMO, which stands for the fear of missing out. Apparently, the smartphone generation, I I'm also part of it now, don't want to miss out on the shiny happy moments that are being celebrated by your Facebook friends, your Instagram friends. You know, lives that appear uh, much more exciting than uh, our real lives. And, you know, it makes us just long to be part of this life and long to escape from what we are seeing around us as a fairly ordinary mundane existence. So, uh, then where are we heading? Are we heading towards a life that is totally trapped in our smartphone screens? That totally, totally detaches us from real people, from real conversations or real discoveries in the real world? Well, I think that a time is going to come when the pendulum is going to shift. When we will move out from this FOMO phase, to something that's already uh, making its present fail, uh, felt, the concept of JOMO, the joy of missing out. Missing out on the happenings in a virtual world which you have really uh, no um, connection with as such, to engage with people who are around you in the real world. Do you think this will happen soon? Do let us know your views on our social media handles using the hashtag Morning Musings 
or you can tag me on my Facebook page in this case or my Insta page or my Twitter handle Monidipa 2K. We will be waiting to hear from you. Till next time then. Bye guys.